And speaking of all things beautiful, we caught up with Adam Groom in his element. It's quite possibly the most famous beach in the entire world. So choosing a surfboard over golf clubs wasn't the hardest decision for Adam Groom to make when beautiful Bondi beckons. So Sydney cider Groom made the most of the Aussie winter break before the Selangor Masters. Welcome to beautiful Bondi Beach. Let's go surfing. I love being out there in the ocean. I always like being in the water, uh, especially growing up on Sydney's northern beaches. Um, couldn't wait till school finished. I used to run down the hill from Bilgola Plateau uh, with my surfboard under my arm. I can go surfing for the afternoon and then either try and get my mum to pick us up and take us back home or hitchhike home, one of the two. <laughs> Groom began bodyboarding at the age of eight, but the 33-year-old loves a challenge and started surfing in his late 20s. Calling himself a scratch bodyboarder, Groomy rates himself a more modest 12 handicapper in the surf. All my friends growing up were surfers and there's always a rivalry between bodyboarders and surfers and I finally made the change about four years ago now. It's definitely harder. Oh, it's great to start surfing now and I love it. Riding the waves can be a tough task, but falling off your board is sometimes the least of your worries. While bodyboarding 15 years ago, Groom had a close encounter of the Steven Spielberg horror flick, Jaws Kind. The only sort of close encounter I've had with a shark, I think I was about 18 years old and bodyboarding a reef break. There was about uh, 10 or 12 guys out there and we're waiting in the lineup. And all of a sudden, you know, obviously you see dolphins go by quite a lot, but this was not a dolphin. It was, I'd say it was probably five or 10 yards away from me and it was probably a tiger shark or something and it was massive. And all the boys, we all just, um, we all paddled straight in, but the thing is, 12 guys are trying to get onto this rock platform be, to get away from the sharks. That was, a, it was pretty chaotic, but yeah, not that many sharks around. As a child, Groom inherited his golfing interest from his mum, Anne, and his love for the ocean from his dad, Brian. However, Captain Brian thinks his son makes a better golfer than a sailor, despite Adam's kind words. Very good sailor, yeah. As the, my parents, um, yeah, last year they sailed halfway around the world, so um, yeah, they're pretty adventurous people. Yeah, he does sail. He, um, he enjoys his sailing. He's not a good sailor, but he does enjoy. He mainly likes to sit back and just enjoy everyone else doing the work. He's, uh, he's sailed from uh, from Aruba to Cartagena with us in Colombia, and he's also sailed around the uh, Tonga with us. Life on the Asian Tour hasn't always been smooth sailing for the 2004 Asian Tour Rookie of the Year. While 2007 was the most rewarding season for Groom, a long-term wrist injury affected his form shortly after. You know, a few years later I had a wrist operation. That was kind of out of the blue and, you know, sort of had some time off golf and then I lost my card um, and so that was difficult. It was also a difficult experience for him at the Selangor Masters last year. Groom was in title contention right until the end. Coming up the par 5 18th tie with Eunice Granberg, he needed a birdie to win. I wasn't sure where I stood until I sort of got up um, near the green on 18. I guess maybe that's kind of startled me a little bit. Maybe I thought I was one behind or something, uh, I wasn't sure. Trouble off the tee meant Groomy was faced with a cross green monster putt to win. I was probably about 35 foot away, I was a long way from the hole. I just uh, hit the putt way too hard. Um, I was obviously trying to give it a chance to go in, so trying to get it past the hole. And I think I hit it about eight, eight foot past the hole, you know, really a terrible putt. With the pressure mounting, he still had one last shot at glory. And then I had to try and hole it to get in the playoff and hit a poor putt, pulled it, and I think it went about six foot by, five foot by, and then, you know, I was totally kind of just sort of blew me away when I did that because I knew I'd, you know, I'm not in the playoff anymore and almost didn't care anymore. A shattered groom had to settle for a third place finish in Selangor. Not finishing second meant, come the end of the season, he also lost his Asian Tour card. Q School 2012 beckoned and groom's work with his coach, Adam Frazier, the brother of Order of Merit leader Marcus, paid off. He finished tied runner-up. Played well at tour school, um, sort of working on similar stuff to what I was doing with Adam um, over those weeks when I was playing well. Yeah, finished second there, um, part of well that week, and yeah, it was great to do well at tour school and get off to a good start for the year. 
With a tie 10th finish at the ISPS Handa Singapore Classic, his best result this year, Groomy is now searching for some meaning in his golf. I'm trying to get the love back for the game. Um, I think, you know, it's a game where it can be so frustrating and you can kind of hate the game. But, um, you know, I'm sort of enjoying it this year and hoping to have a good second half of the year. And only time will tell if he sinks or swims.